Hey, Robert Murray here, and in this video, I want to go through the GrooveMail setting up tags, categories, and sequences. Uh, in a previous video, I set up a form. Uh, now we're going to integrate all of that together, and then we'll start looking at the sequences. Also, if you hold on for a moment, I'll give you $2,000 worth of my free bonuses just for setting up a brand new free Groove account where you get Groove Sell, Groove Affiliate, Groove Pay, many different other apps. No credit card is ever needed. So, cue the intro. Okay, so uh, I kind of probably did this around the wrong way, uh, but it doesn't matter. There'll be uh, this is part two of the Groove Mound setting up. Uh, I posted part one yesterday, and um, my team will put this at the end of the video, so you can go back and watch that one as well. So we've already set up the form inside of Groove. Now we're going to go in and um, go in to create some tags. So the video we shot yesterday, we created a um, a form for a TikTok page. So I'm just going to call this one TikTok, or well, not TikTok, TikTok. And I'm just going to rename it. And uh, I don't think we created a category. Oh, sorry, create a new category. Call it TikTok. And so let's add that uh, create a tag. So boom, we've got our tag now created. Uh, we've got a category now created for TikTok. I'm going to delete the second one as I just didn't notice it had a little drop down. And what we're going to do, um, we don't really need to create, create a segment here, but we could if we want. So we'll just let's go and do that now. Let's, again, just call that TikTok. We could call it TikTok opted in, for example, if we wanted to segment people. Um, and we're going to include everybody who subscribed to a specific list. Uh, or we can have it as a tag. So let's do the tag because we've just created it. TikTok and there and it's excluded um, I think that's pretty much it save and exit and now we want to come into our campaigns and we're going to build out a sequence and let's just do a very simple sequence And so we want to start off with our trigger. And what we'll do is we'll select our TikTok category, our TikTok tag. So as soon as um, they're tagged, that we want this campaign to start. Or we can do it through our forms. Um, I don't know if I actually created. I don't know. Oh, there is their form. The list. Did I create a list? Maybe I didn't actually create a list. Let me go and open up and check. I thought I did that on yesterday's, but maybe not. Uh, it's in on the leads list. No, I didn't. Okay, my bad. I think I talked about it on yesterday's video, but I didn't actually create it. So that's that there. So now if I save and then just refresh the page, it should give me that as visible. So just want to show you all the functionalities that are in there. And you don't necessarily need to, um, to have it trigger from all diff all three. So I didn't actually, oh no, I did add that one there, I did that there, but it's not showing me up there. So now you see that list, oh yeah, I didn't click done. So it should now populate up here, all of those. And so once one of those is triggered, I want to send an email. But I could obviously have a little timer delay if I wanted to, so uh, I don't want, well in fact I do. Let me, let me add a, a timer delay, so let me just delete that. So let's add a time delay there. Purely because I've set up in the form, if you watched yesterday's video, I set up a, a welcome email. So what I'll do here is I'll add a, oh, sorry, it's there. Uh, wait a number of days. Let's add uh, wait one day uh, so that we don't get two emails straight away. And let's put that as active and click done. And now we want our email to trigger. I'm just going to drag that up a little bit. 
and you can see here you can go left or right uh, I like kind of working up and down and you can obviously zoom in and out of it if you need to so I can just drag that up it's really cool so now I'm inside the um, the email configure so let's call this um, day two it's coming from my sender that I've already set up day two email obviously I'm not setting this up properly and then I can go in here and go uh, hey welcome to day two and again uh, I can add lots of different things in here I can add the names etc the dynamic variables uh, but I'm not going to do that just for now I'm just going to click done and now let's uh, let's add another time delay. Let's say we want our second email to go. Uh, let's have a look. Wait a number of days. Went to a specific date. I kind of like this. This is really cool. So wait for one day again. Let's click done. And if um, if I had the SMS set up, which I don't yet, uh, you can see it's not going to give me any sender. But I could have an SMS go through. And then I could have the same day, I could have a, an email. So if I wanted an SMS and an email, I could do that. Day three, you get the gist, and obviously I'll add some text in here. Okay, day three. And click done. Oh, sorry. Day three. And, uh, and you've got uh, conditional splits over here. You've got go tos. Uh, obviously, that that I don't think that would break the chain. I'm pretty sure it would automatically go straight through. But yeah, so you can see there very quickly. You've got a little campaign set up that as soon as they've opted in, they're going to get their welcome email. Okay, uh, which is over here. Forms. And uh, this is the form we created, the TikTok form. And you'll see. Uh, here no sorry uh, welcome so this is the welcome email that will trigger instantly so I'm asking this sequence to, to wait one day just so they don't get bombarded but I could send that instantly with a, you know some additional whitelist instructions or additional un unadvertised bonus uh, it's up to me and then I'm just going to set out this camp campaign what I quite like about that um, time of delay is let's say for example this is an event let's say it's one of my challenges um, I kind of like the fact that my challenge starts on the 26th so I could say um, start starts on the 26th uh, at let's say 6 a.m. and then I could have the task ones so if I drag that up this could be task one or day one, whatever you call it. I don't think it actually requires you to put anything in the email box, but I'm just doing it anyway. So now you could, if you want, schedule all of your emails to go uh, on specific days. Uh, so you can add another time and delay here to say the second day, task two, second day, third day, task three. So that's kind of quite cool. So you can, you can pretty much automate um, something based on what days you're running a challenge or an event or something like that which is very specific so i'm just going to get rid of that one just for now but all the rest can stay and i'm just going to click save so that's active and, and also you can do automations which is kind of cool so you can um you can do um uh, butterfly marketing so let's say this is TikTok again oh sorry it's not TikTok. <laughs> TikTok. And let's say we want something to trigger when the lead subscribes to a list. We want it to be that TikTok list and we add it there. So it's an if and then. And then we want them to be added as affiliate. So it's butterfly marketing. Do I want them to go to the, the default commission tier or the custom? Let's go default. Let's select the funnel. So it's say, let's say for instance, it was my 10 day groovy Let's go uh, create phenomenal challenges. So boom. So as soon as they've opted in, that automatically will, will add them as an affiliate. Uh, where's it gone? Is it down, it's down the bottom. And you always got to um, to click resume and then it will go green. See that there? So if you don't, it will stay red like up here. 
it really is kind of simple. Um, so what we'll do now is, uh, where is it here? We can go and test that. Uh, well, in fact, we tested that yesterday, so we know that's now working. It had a cache issue on the previous video. But yeah, so we've set up now uh, a list, a form, a tags, categories. We've actually done a segment. We've done a little uh, sequence under campaigns. We've set up an automation and it's taken us, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes and we can build out that campaign and that sequence so that it does a little follow up campaign. I'm pretty sure actually in here, once we're in sequences again, if we had, for example, uh, another list, let's say in ClickFunnels, I've got my know, like and trust list, we could, uh, let me see if we can, again, it's not going to be all ready yet because it's still in the build. Uh, we could have a go to trigger, send email, timer delay. Um, oh, so this you can actually just set up. Okay, so you could have a trigger. Ah, that's really cool. So they've, they've modified this a little bit. So you can see here, timer delay, pause the current flow, etc. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like you can actually direct them into another list unless we try something different. Let me just go here. Conditional split, I'm pretty sure is, yeah, it's gonna be a false or yes or no, or true or false. Um, but what we could do, if we if we added a tag, let's say they hit this point, and it could be a conditional split, you, you could add there, but let's say that we add a tag here, that once they get to this point, it's let's say a different tag, let's go uh, 10 day groovy challenge, uh, free sign up, let's get rid of that one. So then if you've got that set up on a different sequence where when they get tagged with this tag, it opens up that flow. So I could instantly at the top or halfway through, I could add them to my know, like and trust campaign if I built that out in a different sequence. So yeah, there's loads you can do here. They're gonna be adding lots of stuff. This is this is just the literally the basic layout um, at the moment, but yeah, also up on the screen right now, there'll be um, a link to my $2,000 worth of bonuses just for grabbing your free Groove account. It'll be in the description below. Make sure you join my 10-day Groovy Challenge where I share how to build a website, a lead magnet, and a sales funnel for free. Um, we The next one is July 26th, so you can go and join that for free right now. And I give you a free bonus just for registering the four-day cash machine. Um, also, comment down below, let me know what else you need help with, and also like the video, do the usual, subscribe and click the bell, make sure you keep up to date with all upcoming um, videos. And over here on the left now, there'll be yesterday's video, part one, and also a few other videos, so go ahead and watch one of those. All right, bye for now.